appreciated for some time now. She's failed um, the anti-inflammatory injection. Uh, she's also failed uh, inserts in the shoes. And now we're at the last resort for plantar fasciitis, which is surgery. Uh, today we're going to be doing a percutaneous um, plantar fascial re release and we've already numbed the patient. We gave her some lidocaine at the ankle and then a local lidocaine with epi at the foot to reduce some of the bleeding. And we're about to begin. What I've drawn out on the foot is how the plantar fascia stands essentially. There's three bands of it, the medial, central and lateral. We're only concerned about the medial band at this point, so that's this area here. Right. I'll take the scalpel, please. Okay. So what we can feel along this area here is a very tight medial band. And the insertion of the plantar fascia is towards the heel, but if we put an incision here, the patient has to walk in it, you get a scar, it's painful. So we're going into the arch where the patient shouldn't feel it. And we'll get a good release. Okay. Yeah. And we're doing that, just going through the fibers. Close enough, you can sometimes hear the fibers. It's quite a thick pattern. That's loose there. Just check and see if there's any more fibers. There's a quite thick band here. You can feel that. As we go in. Almost. We doing okay up there? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. which was super tight before, is a lot looser. We'll throw a stitch in and put on a protective dressing and the patient will turn next week. And we'll check out the foot, possibly remove those stitches at that time. Uh, the patient will ambulate in a cam boot uh, until follow up next week. And then we'll slowly transition from the uh, cam boot into her sneaker with the orthotic. Thanks.